students once again we are back with a, another video of isometric view so this is the question so in the question we are provided with the front view and this is the side view so we can say this as front view and this as left hand side view LHSV right so if you look at the figure from the front it will appear this and if you look at the figure from the left hand it will show this representation so this is the question or in do figure ke madad se aapko ek 3d figure banani hai hai na thoda challenging so aaiye dekhte hai isko kaise banate right so we will draw a horizontal line aur yaha pe comfortable distance leke hum 30 degrees pe do line banayenge so one on this side and other on this side and other like 90 degrees pay line right so when you draw this line you need to ask yourself a question what is the length along x direction so this is length along x this is along y and this is along z So this is the front view we have just seen this is the front view this is 104 and what is the height the height is 48 48 16 16 16 threes are 48 that means each section is a 14 uh, 16 mm and then this is the width that is 72 24 24 24 24 threes are 72 these are some observations that we can come to a conclusion by looking at the figure right so jo figure hame hamare paas hai wo figure ke hisab se we divided into planes so the left bottom corner will be the origin so this is o origin this is x axis this is z axis for the front view if you look for the side view this corner will be the origin right this is along y axis and this is along z axis to hume front view mein x z plane milega side view mein y z plane milega right so ye rahega hamara x z plane this is y z plane right so we mark 104 along x direction right so we draw a line 104 mark a point what is the height the height is 48 that is visible in the side view so height is 48 so we can mark 48 along this line you 48 bana liya. right front view mein. so in the front this is how much 24 mm so yaha se hume ye 24 kya along x axis hai. along x axis 24 hume mark karna padega right so we draw a parallel line right this is x axis this is also called as isometric axis right so hum kya karte ek construction line bana lete filhal ke liye aur along this line we mark 24 right so 24 could be marked along this and we come down and we mark 16 over here right 16 mm on this side so we get an l like structure right. we draw line over here like this so in the front ye to clear hai ki yaha pe l hai yaha pe koi line nahi hai matlab this is in one plane 
यहाँ पे चेंज ऑफ प्लेन हो रहा है इसलिए एज है चेंज ऑफ प्लेन हो रहा है इसलिए एज है राइट बहुत ही इंटरेस्टिंग सा प्रॉब्लम है ये साथ ही साथ अगर हम साइड व्यू में देखेंगे साइड व्यू में हमें कित हमारे पास कितना है सेवेंटी टू बाई फोर्टी एट है राइट सो वी मार्क सेवेंटी टू ऑन दिस साइड सेवेंटी टू बाई फोर्टी एट राइट सो वी हैव रोलर स्किल वी मेक द यूज ऑफ रोलर स्किल ओवर ये एंड मार्क फोर्टी एट ऑन दिस डायमेंशंस नीड टू बी वेरी अक्यूरेट द मोर अक्यूरेसी कम इन टू पिक्चर होता आपको बाकी के कंपोनेंट्स बनाने में आसानी जाएगी राइट सो यू कैन इनक्लूज दिस कंप्लीटली इन टू अ बॉक्स एंड नाउ वी कैन एक्सटेंड दिस राइट दिस इज सेवेंटी टू सो वी कैन एक्सटेंड दिस विद द हेल्प ऑफ रूलर स्केल सो इन द साइड दिस इज ट्वेंटी फोर नीचे कितना रहे हम सिक्सटीन सो दिस इज ट्वेंटी फोर अलॉन्ग विच वाई एक्सेस एंड यू आर कमिंग डाउन अलॉन्ग जेड एक्सेस ट्वेंटी फोर अलॉन्ग वाई सिक्सटीन अलॉन्ग जेड सो एक्सेस के हिसाब से जाओगे तो काफ़ी सरल रहेगा आपके लिए सो नाव मार्क ट्वेंटी फोर अलॉन्ग वाई एक्सेस so this is twenty four you have marked twenty four along y axis you can make it dark so along z axis we need to mark sixteen isn't it so we mark sixteen and we draw a line बराबर again how much again twenty four so again with the help of roller scale you can draw a line parallel to y axis so along y axis we again mark 24 mm you can connect this a bit with a darker shade and again along z axis we need to come down so we draw a line parallel to z axis right and uh, we can bring this line extension so we get a step like this right so ye step mil gaya so yahan tak ye clear hai ye step jaise aapko side view mein mil raha hai उसी तरह से आपको यहाँ पे भी साइड व्यू में मिल रहा है राइट सो so, हमारे पास टॉप व्यू दिया नहीं है बट फिर भी दिस इज ट्वेंटी फोर एंड वी कैन मेक यूज ऑफ रोलर स्केल एंड यू कैन डार्क द रेस्ट ऑफ द फिगर फॉर अ वाइल to increase your imagination now here the length is 104 104 minus 24 will give you how much it will be 80 that means this larger l section is this larger l section ye 24 subtract ho gaya hai bache kitna hai 80 so we try and draw lines parallel to x axis of length a80 right so initially let them be construction line right and you can mark 80 on this
this is 80 similarly right so this is a good technique mathematically you can subtract the value and uh, you get a good value right so we draw we drop the value down with the help of roller scale it will be really helpful for you so this is 16 or ye 24 jo hai aapka ye 24 ko aap kya karoge parallel line se yahan pe extend karoge right again 16 along y axis you mark it over here like this and this line parallel to y axis from this corner to this corner it will come like this right so you get a section like this as you have step me like right and then the rest of the portion can be highlighted rest construction can be kept light enough Now we can give the dimensions. It's one zero four. So along X, along Y. We have an extension line. This is how much? 72. So this is how the figure looks after giving the dimensions, right? So this is the front view and the observer is looking along this direction. So you can show it by a larger arrow. From this direction and this is the front view front view mein aapko change of plane se sabse pehle jo l hai ye l visible hai yaha pe correct and then ye jo 16 ke upar ye 16 wala step hai so ye aur ye ek hi level pe a jata hai to change of plane se ye 16 a gaya again ye 16 a gaya right side view ke agar baat karte to aapko ye l steps dikh raha hai so this is L and this is step, this is 16, you have seen 16, 16, 16, 16, 3 is a 48. So 16, 16, 16, 3 is a, this is 48 you get. And similarly, we have 24, 3 is a 72. So this 72, this is broken into three segment of 24 along X y axis 24 along y and 24 along y right and then you can highlight the required section this is how you get the beautiful figure isometric basically this drawing acha bhi nahi wo bhi acche se bana sakta hai sirf aapko imagination ki help lagti hai aur aapko aur acha practice karna padega right so I hope you've understood this problem. Thank you dear students and have a good day.